So Meryl's getting a lot of levels on the bottom lane. He's already level 5, <laughs> while Miracle is about to hit level 4. That's a lot of damage. He might be dead. He's dead, actually. Yeah. Doctor spills the first blood. All around the fine bit of bounty time. Phoenix, however, can't Icarus dive out of here. And uh, Samel is trying to buy as much, well, intimidation to force the rest of Enigma back, but there's farm in the wave. He can't miss out on. So five minute runes. Mind Control's actually going to get both of the ones on top. So that's uh, that's 4 0. And. Uh... Not recover. You, you can't just flash farm with the hero. So you need to be able to rotate or others rotate through your lane. Quick little mischief. Phoenix diving herself forward. Enchantress going to TP in as well. Miracle dropping down very low. Samel wants to keep this battle going. He's going to get the four stacks up. But he's got no boundless strike. So he just gets a quick kill onto Miracle. He'll lose his life to GH, who then makes a break for the tree line. Sarks bottom lane against the two supports. That's, that's Dota. Oh, and now Vipers. in trouble. Uh, Viper's gonna get the Radiant Orbs. <laughs> Mid once I get away from it. Wingard doesn't care. He's like, burn my mana, I'm a Viper. Yeah, he really is dead, Koro. Uh, okay, that's what Samael? they needed, rotation. Have they got enough control? That Colsnet did some good work, but Viper, he's done the chip damage, Samel. Missed Yo, just mid underneath one. the tower, but GH, Mid one's just going in ham. With a Tornado, he will kill we. And Signotel's getting closer. Oh, he's just getting higher levels. Now they're actually going to go on Miracle. Great slight. He dodges a little bit, but there's no way to jump away. He knows he can't Spirit out. Seb's here for the Dragon Town stunt. Okay. And Phoenix is getting... I know Seb's got a lot of ones, uh, one charges and three points up in Dragon Blood, but this is still a little risky. EMP Tornado is going to catch three heroes. The Snowball trying to save him. We is out of mana. Got a couple of one charges. Seb moves away. Icarus dive forward. Saksa still not level six just yet, but he gets the sprites alive. out and they're focusing on we. Mid one will have to hide inside the ghost walk before poison sacks. Mid one tries to walk into the sun race to get some more life. And now we have that cold embrace. More time for Nortel to begin his own rotation in. Mid one will finally tick down to Weeha, but into the egg. He didn't get any sprites off. That's the easiest supernova dispel ever. And now Samel will need to do his own work. Boundless strike forward, focusing on the GH. He's got the extra support to do it in the form of Seb, but the double searing chains from Miracle creates just enough space. Okuro and Miracle just to back up. Maybe not all the space you needed, Samel. Wants to jump down, but as you go for the... Uh, there's no way he's getting that kill. Necro is just farming up. There's TP rotation coming out from Invoker. DK's dead. Thank you to kill. Yeah, Bit. Dragonite, if region, he just feels like a normal hero. There's the dust, top lane. Mid one in trouble once again. And a Reaper Scythe to... Okay. Need a little, little bit more damage to ensure that. Catch up time. Phase, phase boots. Food? That's it. No, 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 he's, he's thinking realistically. <laughs> Seb trying to keep the wave off the tier 1 tower. There's a catapult wave. Enchantress will also arrive. They get the pick up and throw down over on Viper. Burn as much mana as they can. Combining with the cold snap. Even now what with the fire ready? spirits. But the curse is out. It goes on Monkey King. But Enchantress keeps her distance. It's only Seb attacking in to Monkey King. But he'll still tick out. There's a great supernova. The stun actually connects. Now into the sunray. Tuscar protected by the cold embrace. But snowballs forward. He'll head over towards Seb. He's kind of stuck in the river. So stuns can work the way of Nygma. But the breathe fire is better. GH dies and actually having a little bit of trouble getting around that melee creep. Necrophos very far on the front lines. Another EMP tornado going to go to work. Burns all the manner of mind control. A miracle. Call snap miracle. Once again having trouble getting away, but back like really racking up the one charges. And then a clarity they remove his clarity. Snowball comes forward once again. Tusker getting in deep. GH gets the warrior's punch off, but you're getting a lot of life from the sunray, but not enough. No tell still burns to go for Hood, since Necro is building Pipe already. My control's definitely got the money. Winter Wyvern takes towards the skies, but just the jump down, Dragon Tail Sun works, but it's creating more time for now. My control to TP him, Snowball forward, everybody come along for the ride. It's a little bit too far to go, but no, the Shards, they block the Dragon Knight at the ramp and the Reaper Scythe and put him down for 47 seconds.
for a very long time. Observer sentries give a lot of information towards OG. Kuro is waiting in the back lines. Can they actually find him? Wyvern takes to the skies. Fresh Observer is being planted down. They can't go on mind control. They kind of need to actually go over on the winter Wyvern. And that's the one they're able to find. A Perfect quick jump target. forward. The Reaper Scythe will go to work. Enchantress gets the leader. But there's your buyback on your fine position. The way you play it. Space being created. As Kuro puts down the Winter Wyvern only, but Monkey King looking for all of the life back again. Gets the Wukong's command out, but dies just as it explodes out. Supernova, can it get the sun onto Ember Spirit? No, it can't. It's all out of range. But Icarus dying forward, and Seb needs to come back in. A, a good breathe fire, and with a deafening blast, they're stuck inside the Sunray of Phoenix. So GH will fall, but chain after chain coming the way of Nigma, Forcing and He's using creeps, farming up. They're, they're utilizing the map correctly. <laughs> He's really trying to juke this hard. He even dropped the observer wall to get mopped up quickly. Curse out. No tower will hit him, but four heroes surrounding this winter wyvern. They will protect their tier one tower on the safe lane OG. Yes, I'm sure Kaiba will agree of this. Like, <laughs> this is what happens when Toontown hits the dragon. GH, they're going on Enchantress. Snowball under. Necrophos sticks with him, and they break him so quickly, and then the Reaper Scythe. Goodbye, one minute on the sideline. Support is coming in. Samel will go for the quick jump into the Wukong's command. Gets the Boundless Strike out, doesn't hit the targets he's really hoping for, because Weeha got pushed away, but he will still die. A big kill to claim, it goes the way of Saxa. But it keeps increasing. Oh, Enigma. Like, they're ahead, 2,000 gold. Mid one's gonna break this smoke. If he's gonna save Monkey King's life, he's gonna break this smoke. Observer sentry, they see mid one. In fact, I'll just kill mid one. This feels like a good trade oh, for OG compared to, to, yeah, compared to losing Monkey King. This feels like a good trade off. Need to be careful. BKB is ready in a couple of seconds, but they have two abilities that go through magic immunity. Uh, Seb. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, here comes Winter Wyvern. This really feels like one of those classic OG space I have created plays. So that he can get They're going for task BKB faster. On he top. just used snowball. Kuro is waiting around behind him. The Vel comes out. They're burning out GH. Kuro knows that his ultimate can't create that space with a tornado from mid one. Didn't connect on GH the way he wanted to. And now Necro will come in for the Reaper Scythe. Goodbye, mid one. But maybe there's the damage from Samael. It's a great Wukong's command combining with the Supernova. They're keeping Necro right on the edge of the Wukongs. Now buyback coming in from Wyvern. Doesn't have his ulti. Seb. Sentries down from both sides as the Glimmer Cape trying to get Seb out of range. As he said, the BKB is up and running, so it doesn't do that much. I think Nigma needs to prioritize to try to grab Monkey King if possible. But then again, if you go on Monkey, Invoker gets his spells off, Tornado, EMP. Uh -huh. Is he going to be either without mana or whole fight cancelled? He's going to die. Yeah, this is meant to be a team game, but he's down there by himself. No Saxa has been has been very silent. At least we didn't talk about him, but he's doing so much. Like spirit vessel, his positioning is great with the sunray. Oh, and servers are down. Philosopher Stone. Clumsing it onto the Phoenix oh as he got God, their way back out of here. Icarus dive, he'll get up the hill. But the attack from actually Kuro <laughs> follows him up the hill to get the first creep comes down as the mud golems of the enchantress. Have I a just look. I want to check how low Roche is. Do I need to buy back or not? Samael's range is the Wukong around. Just keep spamming. Yep. EMP well, tornado. Samael's right in the middle of him. If he triggers the Wukong now, bound the strike. He jumps down, focusing over on the Necrophos with the BKB. Ghost will end up canceling that off. Tanska. Oh, good curse. Winter Wyvern canceling the Wukong's command. I say it's a good curse. What did you really get from it? You got to kill over on the Tanska. Now Reaper Scythe. Dragon Knight put down. No buyback for him, and he's dead for a very long time. Big disengage coming from OG, or do they try and fight around this hillside? Now Wukong's out again from Samel. The Boundless Strike, it's on the That's Winter Wyvern said. in the back line, so at least you can kill him. The Supernova, real issues for Nigma to get away in time. They turn on the Sunray, and now Viper trying to battle under his own nether post, but that won't work. A miracle, he's so low on life and mana. One more attack from Samel would probably do it. GH is keeping him free, and then Miracle can hit him with a slide of fist. RG buying it's back at least bad. onto the Enchantress. Can fight with these two heroes only. Uh, Phoenix isn't going to help out. No. Dust is still there from GH back under the tier 2 tower. He's trapped. They're all actually quite terrible at attacking. Snowball over. They go towards the Phoenix. They had to turn off the sun. 
And Soxa trying to get back to the tier two tower. That won't work and we're clumsy netting all up again. Glimmer Cape will protect no telling, makes a break for the tree line. But Nigma covering all the angles and a double kill for Miracle. Tap is out. I think no tail just bought back there to buy some extra time. They're gonna kill mid So that OG are gonna be alive for the next fight. DK could not blink stun in time. Now he's got a BKB. And look to catch out Samael. But while he does one push, like Seb's normally fine with jungle behind, they find another target. It's Nortel. And she's level five. He's gonna wand up. He's gonna get Sunray. But the Reaper Scythe is more than enough damage to put him down. Samael is hunting, but he should also know that Samael now has an Aghanim Scepter up and running. Actually, jumping forward. Samael. Starts the Boundless Strike over on the Viper. Icarus dive forward into the Supernova. Everyone's a little bit too far away from Nigma, but maybe Kuro as well as Weeha can work together. The Cold Embrace keeps Viper alive. Samonga can't finish the job, but he's battling inside the Wukong's command. Snowball save is there as well as the Curse to create a little bit extra space, but the battling is his Ag Aghanim Scepter. Samael, he needs one more hit. Boundless Strike off Kuro in one second time. That's when they need the extra silence too. He's lining up. Who cares about the Spirit Vessel if he can just get the damage out, but he can't even do that. Cold Embrace after Cold Embrace from Kuro. Creates the space required for Enigma, and now you're going to lose Seb too. All yeah, that's a that's a lot of problems to overcome for OG. A jumping in miracle, finding Nortel once again. He came on a, on a ward mission. So smoke should break pretty quickly from mid one. In fact, he's going to break it over on well, Tusker, looking for Phoenix. A lot of support around him into the Wukong's command. So man, able to get the sun over on the Necrophos. And he doesn't have a really great way out this one. Combining with the Supernova. Just getting some distance. Miracle stunned up even through the immunity. Seb into his BKB form. Wyvern has that ultimate available. But now he has a cold embrace himself up. You've already lost the Invoker. Turning on the Sunray from the Phoenix. But they still haven't taken care of the Winter Wyvern. Maybe the Supernova. Actually, yeah, you can do it with the Sunray. But there's not enough core heroes to dish out any kind of damage from OG anymore. They're looking for their fight. And Monkey will be the primary target if he wants to come in. You know it's called the Rock's They're Kiss. They're Rock's Kiss. <laughs> Jump forward. GH. Uh, not exactly certain what he was going on there, apart from a couple of fakes. Samel just played it through the tree lines. He is trying to make sure that Tusker has no influence in this fight, but Samel walks out of his Wukong to look for the fight. He's no, he's bound so far away. The wrong direction. Supernova is being battled down. Wyvern. Not actually there to help out, so the Supernova will it. come off in time, and Samael is able to turn around and get this fight, combining with the Sunray GH. He's burning inside the Cold Embrace. It's a bit of a waste of a curse, as Samael was able to tank through all of it, and now he's ready to fight once again. Slams down the wave. It's still a two-for-two two trade-off, and Samael, he's kicking for the moment. Necro will be the bigger one, but Wyvern, he is just the medic. He's the mash unit. He's Hawkeye from range, making sure that everyone is safe. And chop it out. No tail. A little bit of space gets created for him. Thanks to the deafening blast. But now mid one becomes public enemy number one. Another spirit vessel charge. One after the other. And that feels like a GG calling coming right now. No tail's trapped against the tree line. Slight is ready. Nigma are ready to win. Rampage. Time. There it is. Oh, yeah, we have. <laughs> Gotta get those tier four items up and running. I think anyone's taking the time to farm inside the jungle. Dragon on dragon, good four star forward. Pushing the cursed target out. Trying to bait with the Winter Wyvern, but now Slide of Fist jump in. Combining with a Supernova, maybe they get the space. Can they get rid of it in time? Phoenix, where's this egg crash? Oh, it does come off at least. So GH protected by the Cold Embrace. This is a huge Wukong's command for Samel to fight inside of. But now three heroes gone. You're about to make it four. Sucks getting caught inside the mid lane. Vimebacks can come in from No Tail. But to what avail? Winter Wyvern is being protected. Finally, Samel can actually get that Boundless Strike to work into a kill. We are uh, hitting into the radiation. I've been saying this for a while, but OG, they're fighting until the last man. No tail gets killed off once again, just always being broken by this Viper. And now Samael will arrive. BKB walks through the entire Enigma. They are just gatekeeping the Radiant base. Mind control. Only can shroud up and buy, buy a little bit more time for himself to live. The Creep Wave will now hit the Ancient. Enigma, they're camping inside the base of OG into the fountain. 